Guys, it's B from Kongs R Us and Mrs. Kongs R Us, who's stuffing her face because I broke the cardinal rule. I said I would not live stream during dinner, but I couldn't help it. This showed up at our front door today, and the Infinity Game Table, the 32-inch version, the one that we backed on Kickstarter back in November, is finally here in the house. And I thought, hey, what better way to celebrate a Tuesday than to do a live stream? with this lovely woman who's so happy. How are you feeling right now? Good? Let me have a couple of and we'll talk. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are hanging out, if it's late night for you, if it's dinner time, grab open your beverage of choice. As long as I keep this one well fed and drinking. Oh, um, I just realized I gave you a rosé sour. Ooh, rosé sour. It's a blur's day. It's Thursday. You got a Stella Artois. And uh, we're going to be opening up the Infinity Game Table 32-inch table. But not only am I going to be doing it, because this is a family table, a game, if you will. So I have some special guests today that I want to introduce you guys to for the first time actively joining a live stream, the mini Kongs R Us clan. 
Where are you guys at? Come on up. There you go. All right, there he goes. There's the little one. And there's the other little one. Yay. And so all of us are here wearing our Fat Rabbit Charm uh, Pandy the Panda shirts. So again, we are a really, uh, I don't know, corny family, if you will. So the matching t-shirts, uh, it says eat, game, repeat. So that's our model for right now. But we're going to have some fun playing the Infinity Game Table. So thank you guys all for joining the chat right now. We have some awesome folks that are here. Steve Drumheller is here. Gene, Keon, I saw uh, Ian, uh, Seamart the Center Taina is here. I saw David Carver. I saw P-Dubs in the house. My boy Bobby Boo, Tony C, Alfred. So many people that are here that are watching. Thank you guys. Hopefully we can go for about uh, an hour or so. My goal is to do a live unboxing to get you guys my initial first thoughts of seeing the hardware. And I hope I can actually get it working and we can play a game together as a family. Um, so since uh, this is brand new, I, I've watched a couple of reviews. If you want to check out a full review of the 24 inch version of the Affinity Game Table, I highly recommend checking out your gaming techies YouTube channel. He's done a ton of coverage on the Affinity Game Table, but he's done the 24 inch version that he got. So I don't think he has a 32 inch one. There's so a this, smaller version. There's a smaller version. The 32 inch, the 24 inch came out, and then I got the 32 inch version because we couldn't get the smaller version. Bigger is better. So the thing about the the 24 inch is the same width but the screen is just smaller inside of the body of it. So you would just have a ton of unused space if you got the 24 inch version, right? So if you're gonna get this, it's one of those things where like, you wanna maximize space, you gotta go bigger. So my 32 inch for me all the way, I actually, <laughs> I actually went a little bit above and beyond. And again, I, I, I don't think I've told Mrs. Kong's the price tag for it yet, but how much do you think this retails at? Are you asking me or the audience? I'm asking you. I mean, the audience might know, so you might be able to press it out. But uh, how much do you think, Mrs. Kong's Arrest, I spent on this Arcade What Up product, which is one of their first non-arcade cabinet releases? 800? 800 is correct! If, if I like didn't buy enough. the... F <laughs> if I didn't get the Founders version. So I, I paid an extra $200 for the Founders Club version. And what does the Founders Club version get you? Uh, a certificate that I'm hoping is signed by Scott Baccarat in here and a credit somewhere in the Infinity Game Table credits. Uh, I can put a name in the credit. So I put Kong to Rust in the credits so that you can enjoy. You know, the reason why I backed it was I'm a, I'm a pretty big board game enthusiast growing up and uh, I'm gonna start unboxing it while I talk. When I was in uh, college, I, I started playing a ton of board games with a lot of my college roommates. I had a, a friend who was so into board games, he coveted the, the website boardgamegeeks.com uh, and uh, was really getting us into some of the strategy games. Some of my favorite strategy games growing up uh, were Risk, uh, the 22, 2021 uh, AD version of, of Risk. Oh, what, I forget what it's called. Battleship, yeah, put into the chat what your favorite games are. If you're a board game fanatic, what were your favorite go-to games? I discovered Ticket to Ride, which is included on this Infinity Game Table Pack, but you have your classics that are on here. A lot of the classics that are on here include um, Monopoly, Trouble. Chess? Uh, there is chess on here too. So there are several included games. And to be honest, it's been a while since I checked what the official game list is. So. I really don't know, and I haven't done like a ton of updates on kind of what they've released. I think they're releasing them in batches, I've heard, when I follow the group, that they're not all available just yet, and you have to kind of like download them one at a time into your machine. Um, but that is the plan to be able to open this up, get some first thoughts and reactions, see if people can actually download some gameplay. There's Scrabble, but uh, one of the, the, the main kind of comments and feedback I'm totally tearing this open, not not appropriately. I'm like, ugh, it's not coming apart nice and cleanly like I would want to, because um, I'm a little anal like that. I'm like, oh man, I like my boxes to be nice and clean. So uh, I have a question. Yes. Corey Smith asks, when will this be available for sale? Uh, Do the... you want to buy it now from him? <laughs> Are you trying to? Eight oh one. Eight oh one. You're trying to put my my arcade option or my infinity <laughs> table for sale? Are you auctioning off? Eight oh one. Your best offer, please. <laughs> No, all right, so um, I don't know when they're going to be available. Since the Kickstarters just came out and the 32 inch people are getting them now, I hope they actually go into retail by summertime. But you know, they have a lot of stuff going on 
um, but we don't know. Okay, so this was an outer shipping cartridge. And so there is an inner box in here that is huge and has a handle on it. So I'm going to attempt to pull out this uh, inner box that has a handle that has a really nice kind of colored look to it. Yes. All right, so I didn't mean to click on it, but it was a good click. So Peta says I backed out of backing the Kickstarter too, but I'm just curious how this 32 model turned out. Well, yeah. it's big. It's big. Surprisingly, the delivery man did not knock on our door or ring our doorbell. And just left it like yeah. you know what do. All right, I'm just going to need to flip this over. I'm sorry, do you need help? Because that's on you. All right, here we go. We're doing it upside down. We're opening this up. And that's there it is. A box within Ooh. a box. Yeah. Box within a box. Yeah. All right, step one's done. Uh, we have some infinity signs here. The packaging came pretty well. There's some creases on this side right here, um, but otherwise uh, it looks pretty clean on the back side of the box. So this is probably a retail box that you would see in store. This just has the back of the actual box itself with some more wrapping. There is a dent right here though. There's actually a puncture. So hopefully there's no damage on the inside to anything, but otherwise pretty simple box. Uh, again, it just has this little plastic sleeve on it and then Ooh, there's actually some damage on the front side too. I'm actually gonna turn on my secondary camera. Oh, careful, baby. Oh, and there goes the air filter. All right, the kids are playing with boxes because that's what they normally do. All right, I have a second side camera. So you can see uh, there's some damage on this front part of the box right here that came with it. So I have a hole on this front of the box, a hole down here, and then on the back side, there is a hole right here too. So I'm hoping there's uh, not too much going on with these in terms of damage, but let's go ahead and turn it around and I'm going to put it down this way. Can you grab this and pop it out to the side? Okay. Let's open it up and check it out. Okay, so we have a secondary camera here trying to get you some nice different angles with the box so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so let's open it up. Check it out. Wow. Boom. All right, so good news is that there's a lot of foam padding on the top side, so even though it was punctured, nothing got to the actual uh, cab itself or the, the actual table. So it comes with four corner paddings and just the the table automatically. You can probably just grab this. I'm just going to lift this up and take it out really quickly. Bam! There it is for the first time. The 32 inch and it is happy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the 32 inch screen. Here's the back side of everything. Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in this, right? So let's move this to the side. We're going to put it onto the table. Wait, 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 there's something underneath it. I know, there's a lot of stuff underneath, so we gotta check out what's else, what else is in the rest of the box right now. Okay, so can you check the chat too? No, I'm looking at Facebook. <laughs> She's looking at chat stuff. So Mrs. Kong Zeros is monitoring chat. All right, so the rest of the box contents. Can you move the camera over here? All right, so we're gonna check out the rest of the box contents. So right here, the rest of the box contents um, has some more packaging, plastic, I have a little box that says Infinity Game Table. This is part of the instructions. Well, hold on. So Jean said 32 inch is 60 pounds from photos and Facebook group. Do you think it's 60 pounds? I think you gotta put everything back in the box, put everything back in the box, weigh I'm it, and then we'll put it in the garage. <laughs> uh, thank you for your uh, feedback, Mrs. Congress. Uh, if you wanna do that, I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. <laughs> We can uh, we can we can work out together later on by lifting the Infinity Game Table box. And so inside here, this is the instruction booklet. So we got an instruction quick start guide that's here. Oh look, look at this! You open it up. What? It's like a little pop up book right there. Really cool. I know. Oh, this is my special. Is this my is this my thing? My my official like founders edition thing. Why don't you read that while I read some of the comments out loud? Ricky caught that we had matching shirts. Nice. Yeah. Uh. Ah. So this here, it does have a note, but I don't know if this is the custom note that's supposed to be like signed by Scott Backrat, but there's a signature right there. It says, Infinity Game Table, one place, lots of games, infinite fun. Thank you for purchasing the Infinity Game Table system. We truly hope that you, your family, and friends enjoy playing the table as much as we had developing it. One of the great things about playing board games is gathering around the board face-to-face, -face, enjoying time together. Our table makes it the best of modern digital technology with traditional top-down game board play and digital technology possibilities are infinite. Let the games begin. So this might be my Founders Edition thing. I don't see anything else so far, but if this is it, it's a pop-up card 
So, um, <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. so you paid $200 more for a pop-up card? Is Poss that what I, possibly, that what I heard? Possibly, I don't know. It's, it, I don't know if there's anything else in here. There's a warranty card that's pretty cool. Gene I got, I got a sticker. I got a sticker. Gene LaValle, it's $200 more for that dope founder's card. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't know. We don't, there could be more. Don't worry. Look, there's two versions of stickers. Ooh, look at the incandescent holographic infinity table sticker. For $200 more. This? We this got some box? coast. These are coasters. We got some coasters. Oh, we got a quick start guide here. Jorge Aguilar, let us know when you open it if you find something else and if was it worth that $200 more. Oh, I got a nice little cloth. Maybe this is a Founders Edition cloth. I don't see anything in here that says Founders Edition, honestly, yet, though. Um, and then this is like another. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Plus one arcade guy. Huh? $200 for a pop-up card. <laughs> $200 for a pop-up card. Look. What? You could have a signed card by Scat Backer at by Pop Pop Infinity Game Table. Look at that. Look at that pop-up card action. Bam! Right there. Mr. Scott's signature and Jerry Cummings. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay, so the, this whole complete set does come with the stands too. So uh, you can put it on a table just like this. It's portable. It does come with a battery pack, but it also comes with the stands, which are the metal legs. So let's pull that out. I don't know if I'm going to put the metal legs on, but um, at least I'll be able to pull it out so we can see what everything looks like. And let me grab uh, scissors right here. $200 for a pop-up card. Um, hoping hoping there's something else that uh, maybe my credit is digital. It's inside of the actual thing itself. I don't know where they're going to have the credit because they sent us the pledge survey at the end of it and said, hey, uh, put on what, what name you want to have inserted in the credit. So maybe it's in the game information sense, uh, system inside the, the actual thing itself and not like in a booklet or something. But I got a, I got a cool pop-up card. Woohoo. All right, so here's the rest of the metal legs so far. Oh, wait, I got a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, Kian 718 NYC and both Michael Suna asked, are they real signatures or were they digital signatures? <laughs> printed signatures. They look pretty printed to me. All right, here we go. Let's take a close look. I don't know if Scott hand signed all of these. There was only a handful of actual Founders Club backers, so... He probably could have taken the time to hand sign these, but I don't know if he would have been able to get them to the factory. Totally an auto pen. I agree with you. But, uh, you know, I got a cool fancy pop up card. Founders Edition pop up card. There it is. Crazy. There it is. All right, so here are the legs, the sturdy legs that are here. Um, kind of some cool detail on the leg that I'm looking at automatically is, I mean, when you put it here, you're going to be mounting and putting the actual table on top of this. So check this out. Underneath here, if you can see it, it's like a holographic infinity sign that's like uh, incandescent that actually shines ro rainbow color. I don't know, know what to call that. Rainbow shine infinity something. Oh, there's something in here. Uh, I think that's a battery pack. Can you pull that out? Yes. All right, so these are the simple metal stands. I mean, it's not that super portable, right? It doesn't collapse, like if you were going to take this somewhere else. I think there was like a bag you probably could have gotten to, and then these kind of sit and hold it in place. But yeah, this doesn't collapse. If you wanted to take this and have it be portable, uh, it would be hard to carry this around, honestly. So that's the other thing you're thinking about. How, how portable is this to take to other places? This thing was super heavy, so I don't know how often I would carry this around. It would be like carrying a giant 32-inch TV around. And it's not like the light TVs that you buy these days where it's super easy to carry around. This is like the heavy old plasma LCD TVs that you first got and were super heavy. Like when HD TVs first came out, it almost feels like that size of heavy quality. So I don't know the touchscreen technology that's behind it, but I'm going to put the box aside. I'm going to give this to Mrs. Kong's arrest over there. Slide this over. All right. Game night begins here. That's what it says on the side of the box. Right there. Did you have the battery too? Okay. So oh, it's the AC adapter. Oh, it's just the AC adapter. Okay. So here is the AC adapter. Looks like a standard 12 volt adapter. Let's just double check the output. It's 12 volts, 5 amp adapter here. So if you lose it, 12 volt, 5A adapter, simple standard power. But I believe it, it should have a built in battery pack too. So if I'm not mistaken, this version has built in battery for you to play it on the go for a certain number of hours too. All right. 
My fancy card. All right, here we go. Let's move it to the side. Get it set up and turned on. Oof. All right. What do you think? Hip, lift this up. Tell me how heavy you think it is. Did you already finish your first beer? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Little trivia. If you keep track of uh, how many beverages we've had, you might win something at the end of the stream. So let us know. Oh, gosh, we have the side camera. All right, got to work out the squats. <laughs> squats. Okay, pick it up. What do you think? Yeah? Is that 60 pounds? I guess. Yeah? Do some squats with it. So how heavy is it? Would you want to carry that thing around and travel around anywhere? <laughs> Pretty heavy? Good? I can't do my five, right? All right. You're good. Four. Mrs. Kong Zeros is doing five squats for everybody. Are you ready to replace your living room coffee table? Joshua, that's a really good question. We have this coffee table that's here. And you can see this is a standard size coffee table. And then this is the size of the 32 inch. So I, at one point, I was going to try to convince Mrs. Kong Zeros to get rid of our regular coffee table because it's just sitting there and it's just storing toys. I mean, it does nothing else besides if you, I mean, this is a pretty cool table. You open it up and it has It has extra pictures in it. You should not give it things. away. Yeah. And then we also put all of our Christmas card pictures on here. Mm -hmm. Please don't give it away, please. <laughs> we got to get rid of your toys sometime, right? But okay, so here's the infinity table. Let's go ahead and try plugging it in and seeing. I want to see the back of it, actually. So I'm going to carefully flip this over so that you guys can see what's happening on the back side before I get rid of the plastic cover. And the, uh, the cheap Asian in me is really anxious about peeling off this cover. So uh, we'll see how that goes and pulling it off. Okay. Oh, oh okay. So these, um, these uh, stands, they actually go upside down like this. So this is the part that plugs into these holes. And I guess there's a little button that will make it secure. Hold and up. then and then, that, and then this is the bottom part. Stringer films. Hey. <laughs> Put on a super chat. Thanks, Stringer Films. I'm holding out for the baby table. If you're buying a baby cave, this could be uh, a fun addition to whatever oh game room that you put it into. Why Thanks, everyone, I appreciate that. Why is everyone asking if it's water resistant? <laughs> is it water? Well, because people might be playing or putting beverages on it. So later we'll test putting your beverage on it and see if it leaves a stain on it. Because if it's a functional furniture, you want to be able to make sure it can withstand. No, 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 no products. beverage on it. I need my 801. <laughs> it'll want our best offer. No, 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 water. Only water on it. <laughs> Only water on it. Yeah, okay, so the back side of this right here, let's just take a closer look at what's happening on the back side right now. Okay, so here you have your A1UP sticker. It's the Infinity Game Table is the official name of it. You have your ID. It's a 12 volt 5A adapter. You have some other logos that are built into here. These sound like the speakers that are on both sides of it. So they look like three inch speakers that you might see in some of the arcade one products that are just put on the underneath side of the cabs. And then here's the connection point for that 12 volt adapter that's going in here. I don't see where there's like a battery. I, I swore there was a battery pack for this. Yeah, you had a couple of questions about what? the battery pack. Somebody yeah. Else Somebody was it. asking about the battery pack. Like, is it built in? I thought there would be like some sort of external battery pack that would power this in addition to, like, I don't know, if, I don't think it's an internal battery pack. Yeah, so Keon asked if, it, if there is some type of battery pack. The only thing I opened was an AC adapter. You just saw the AC adapter? Mm -hmm. I need to go look, someone go look back at the Founders Pledge list of items that were supposed to be there, because I swore there was some sort of, like, battery pack that was included somewhere. Okay, so the top side of this um, table also has more of the inputs. So that's why I'm trying to like flip this around. Oh, it's like super heavy. I'm like almost scared to like lift it up. All right, here, I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see this. Oh, Gene Lavalli okay. said that batteries ship separately. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, here it is. All right, so he's saying the batteries ship separate. Okay, so here's the, here's the input side of it. So you have your volume switch here, your on switch. You have your USB connection, a micro SD card. Here's the power outlet, but look, here is that little slot here, and this is where the battery pack goes. So I missed the notification that the battery pack would come separately because it did not come with this, but here's where the battery pack would go, and it would fit into here. And the, I don't know if there's, you know, honestly, I think this is just a housing case. I don't even know if there's connection points. Like, if you put it in, would it be a place that actually, like, I think it might just have a connection where you just wire it and plug it into this point to here too. And uh, uh, I, thanks for this. Let me see. Uh, this is the 
I love so. Ian's comment. Now you can tell people, hold a second. I got to wait for the firmware of my coffee table. <laughs> so here's, here's another look at the instruction manual that gives you just a little bit more insight that yeah, the battery pack is actually <gasps> just a battery with an extension wire. That's a 12 volt adapter that's plugging into the slot too. So sorry, uh, Stringer. I really appreciate the $2, but I am not going to put a hot plate or cans <laughs> on it. I want 801, 801 or best offer. No, I, I bought it for a thousand bucks already. So it has to be at least a thousand and one. Wait, 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 wait. What, you want me to keep the $200 card and then sell it for 800 bucks? I thought you said it cost 800 total. No, it was 800 retail. And then I paid an extra 200 for that little card. Are you serious? <laughs> All right. New husband. <laughs> Come this way. So new family. New family. New family. All right. Here it is. A thousand dollars. It's it's for the love of the channel and for the fans that are watching. That it's the, inter too far. It's that the entertainment too far. value of. Who paid for us? Who's got the daddy going too far? Yes or no? <laughs> Plus tax, my Christina says. Thanks very much. Best offer eight zero one. He's sleeping outside. Uh, I think Tony C offered his couch to me already. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's uh, let's. I'm going. I'm going to check the quick start guide really oh. fast and just double check what else I need to do. So here's the contents, right? So I got my extension cable, power supply, card blockers. Oh, that's what those little things are for. So they gave me like these little like cardboard things that look like this, that I guess you're supposed to, if you're hiding something on the game board, it's just a piece of cardboard that you would stick on the table. This actually already kind of disappoints me. If you're gonna have some sort of accessory that you needed to hide a portion of the game screen. Like if you're gonna have tiles in here and you needed to like set this here to hide something, I would have liked to have seen something that was more tangible than something that was cardboard. Like something that was plastic, more permanent, that you can have in an accessory pack and put next to this. So this is already as like a, an accessory that might be necessary for gameplay. This is kind of my first mini disappointment is that the card blockers are just this cheap cardboard thing that you're more likely to lose or toss out than something that you would keep. So I can see so already the aftermarket community maybe making a 3D printed version of something that you can have like a permanent blocker for your pieces because this is really cheap already. So this is a little disappointing already. All right, so we have our quick start game, we got our stickers, we got the white cloth, we got some coasters. Uh, so they give you coasters in case you want to have your beverages there. And then card blocker stands. So they have little stands that they go on to. Oh, All right. Stringer. Films is trying to slowly build up enough money to pay for this. <laughs> Happiness better be infinite. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for all the super chats for your film. Man, appreciate that. All right, so uh, product assembly, you can put in the legs by just snapping them in. And then there's a little clip on one of the legs for the actual extension cable too. With the battery pack, again, it's separate. And yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see anything else oh my that said the battery was going to come separately. Your first mod project is replace the cardboard. Replace the project. Yeah, that, that's mod number one. Somebody get me the printer STL files and we're going to start printing out some card blockers because this, this is not going to last. Like, I'd like to see something else that looks way more branded and looks cooler than that. So, all right, let's plug it in. Did you already plug it in for me? All right, cool. Thank you. All right, so here it is. We're going to plug this in and turn it on. But first I'm gonna, this is like, I'll tell you right now, this is one of the most, like the more painful parts of getting new electronics is peeling the sticker. Oh my goodness, she just pulled it. Uh, I don't know why, like I had my Morrow versus Capcom like deck protector, like the plastic part, like even the remote control and stuff, like I just hate pulling off the plastic off stuff. You just, you just ripped it off without even saying anything. I did a letter for you. <laughs> Goodness. All right, let's plug this in. Uh, I'm not going to put on the legs because I'm just going to leave it on the table for right now. So, all right, so I have it plugged in. I'm going to turn it on. All right, so it's already booting up. Perfect. So let's let's see that. Let's see if I can get the better camera angles in here. Let's uh, get this here this way. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll get this one over here. <laughs> Thank you, p <-dubs. laughs> Uh, P Dub Super Chat says, "Don't forget your Wi-Fi password is spent too much on this." <laughs> How'd you know? How did you know, Dubs? <laughs> Mrs. Kong is totally the boss. All right, so it's booting up right now. I assume that uh, eventually I'm gonna have to enter a Wi-Fi password, do something. But it says Infinity Game Table. Uh, it's looking pretty clean so far right now. 
and uh, presented by Arcade One Up. I already put like a finger smudge on this black part, and like it's like super senior fr fingerprinty already. So I mean, make sure you keep your dust protector with you, because I feel like I would be wiping this down constantly while I'm playing. I mean, it's nice, but again, it's just like yeah. So here is not connected. Here is my my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to avert the camera for now, and uh, while I punch in my Wi-Fi password. Hey. So it is touch screen enabled, which is nice. So everything kind of pops up. And so that's that's good. Feeling pretty sensitive for right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see that, right? Dick, we well, can't see it. All right. Yeah. Hold on. One. The thing about this, the actual um, thing, it's it's very um, sure. it's very wide, like the 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 typing thing. Okay. All right. Where do I go? Press that and then join. Okay. So the actual keyboard on it was like super wide. So it was kind of weird like typing on a keyboard. Only when you have like a digital touch screen keyboard, it's a little bit smaller. So it's kind of wide tapping everything. So it's downloading a dashboard. And again, I've not done a ton of research on setting it up. So I'm hoping you guys will see how easy it is to set up and get this going right off the box. So we've already been going for 30 minutes. Ian just asked. What's it like with the legs on it? Like this. <laughs> That you asked for it, Ian. What's it like with the legs on it? That's exactly what it's like. So, all right. Welcome. Enter your email and password. Do you not have an account? So, um, it's asking you to create an account. So, right now, I'm just gonna see what happens if I don't enter an account. So, I'm gonna enter. Don't have an account. Oh, I have to create an Infinity Table account. I wonder if this is something. We also got okay. uh, some founder card recoup fund from. <laughs> From Richard Adela, 499 Super Chat. Thank you, man. Uh, contributing to that $200 founder card. It's cool pop up card. I might take that pop up card and somehow recreate it so I can have it here permanently. I gotta display proudly my founder's card, but yeah, that that was it. That 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 was sadly it. Okay, so I have to so you have to create an account. It looks like you can either enter your password or create an account. So I'm going to create an account very fast as well. Uh, let's go ahead and enter my name. Let's go here. Okay. My handle is going to be Kongs R S. Email is here. I'll alert that up so you guys can see really fast. But Kongs R S. Yeah. That. Yes. I think I have some beverage for you to put on that. Do you? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is just a really quick. You have to enter your password, confirm your password. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. It's also asking you for your state and where you live. I certify that I'm at least 18 years old. I subscribe to email updates and notifications. All right. I'll subscribe just for now to see what else they have going on, and then I might actually. Uh, do it later. And then they asked me for a verification code. So, all right, so then I gotta check my email for a verification code. Let's see how long it takes for them to send me a code. Code, 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 code. All right, email address validation. Here we go 209706. Validate codes. Joshua, right. Joshua Howell asked, How many Kongs are there? Where there's Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong, Old Man Grumpy Kong. So many Kongs. Dixie Kong. Dixie, no. Dixie Kong. <laughs> Is that it? Verification was there immediately. Oh, thanks, Gene. So you already have one too. So let me know how you uh, if there you have any recommendations for like tables to check out. So this is it. We're all checking it out together. Infinity Game Table, welcome. Please tap on your profile in the top right corner for customization to other settings. Oh my so gosh. Here is that a cat hair magnet? We could test that. Cat hair magnets. Oh yeah. So we got Hans or us. Ooh, so I can select a background right here. So these oh, are all your different background what is options. Screen, re screen resolution. What's that? You're getting there. Yeah, I wonder what the screen resolution is looking like. So I'm gonna have my camera here so you guys can see as much as you can. It looks a lot more vibrant in person than it does on this camera right now, actually. So the camera kind of like fades the the picture quality. Like this is this is a very deep black when I'm looking at it in terms of just pure uh, picture quality, but it looks faded fighters, and obviously Evo. you have uh, a giant screen <laughs> on the top. The screen. Overpriced. <laughs> Overpriced tablet. Uh, it's it's 
true. You probably could find other alternatives for a tablet game that can play a lot of this stuff too. Let's do uh, which of these backgrounds you like. Adam, I'm worried about what kind of hot pocket you're eating. That's, this one. that's not this right. One? Yeah. This one? Okay, we're going to select that as your background. Okay, so that's some background. We can pick an avatar. Ooh, we have all these little options for avatars. Ooh, you got your Monopoly pieces. Nice. You got some dice. You got a butterfly. You got a broken heart. Some ribs. Yeah, got want, some peoples. Wait, I just want the... What's this? I want the butterfly. All right. Well, it we sounds like butterfly. we have some requests. We're going to be a butterfly. <laughs> so that's Wi-Fi. This is a friends list. So you can actually have a friends list that's going on here as well. Anybody who has this, ask for friends. <laughs> yeah, so you can get a friends list going on. This looks like a rotate display. Okay, interesting. So if you want to flip it upside down, uh, this is more that. settings, storage, 2% has been used, emo handle, and then this is uh, infinity found it. Oh, wait, 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 I found it. Look, here it is. Here it is, guys. Here's what I paid $200 for. Infinity table, the founders club. Here it is, ready? Dr. Paul, Letta Townsend, Matt Kelly, Adrian, Mark, Randy, Will, Michael Covey, Jason, William, Matthew, Tim, Adam, Andrew, Alan, Tracy. Look, Kongs and Russ are right here. I paid $200 so I can have a credit on the game. Yes. You know what's hilarious? <laughs> you know what's hilarious? The next release is going to wipe that out. <laughs> They're going to firmware update all of this. But look, look Gone. at all these people here that did the Founders Edition. But here it is, Kongs and Russ right there. That's the $200 that went into here. So Kongs and Russ is bringing you some Founders Edition love to the arcade one up infinity table but thank you to all the other folks that are here that did the founders edition uh if you see your name in here that's awesome uh but there's a, there's a good number of people that spent an extra 200 bucks so that you can get uh you know a credit in here and a fancy little pop-up card you all so look spent a thousand dollars look at that my name is permanently on a board game credit until the next firmware update until never firmware update i will submit tickets forever if they ever update this and take it off okay see ya. They'll never do it. Look, look at that. Look at all the people that are here. Awesome. Thank, look at this. Thank you, Founders Club, fellow I, Founders Club I members. Joshua Howell said you probably could have modded that. <laughs> I probably could have modded it and just put a giant Kongs Russ sticker on here. But yeah, now everybody else will have that right there. Kongs or Russ is in the game. Boom. Credits. Is it worth it? Worth it. Put a one in the chat if you think it was worth it. Put a big fat zero if you think the Founders Club was not worth it. Let's get your... Uh, Honest opinions right now. I want to see oh, one if you think no. it's worth it. Wait, who put that? Who's in charge of the keyboard? One if you think the Founders Club was worth it, and zero if you think it wasn't worth it. Uh, oh, Ricky is saying it wasn't worth it. Gene's saying, Gene's showing me some love. Lots of other zeros, <laughs> some ones. See, Raymond, Raymond Jimenez is here, man. Raymond, you take that back. <laughs> Majin Ian says, 0.5. Meh, there was another Kong in the credits, not you guys. Oh, so far, zero. Lots of zeros, lots of things. All right, so Kenny, what's the first thing you want to play? Battleship. Everybody's battleship? asking for Battleship. Everybody's asking for Battleship. I think it's oh, pretty wait, cool. Oh, wait, you need to use your $200 hanky to wipe it clean. First. Okay, so. <laughs> no, the hanky comes wait, standard with everybody. Wait, do you want to test it first? What's that? Do you want to test it before we play any games? Um, I, I mean, this is the game list. So you guys can see the game list that already comes on here. We have Backgammon, Chess, Dots and Boxes, Men's Morris. Battleship, Shoots and Ladders, Fling Hockey, Operation, Candyland, Color Cream, Mahjong Deluxe, Othello, Checkers, Connect 4, Monopoly, and Puzzle Play. I'm going to hit the right store to see if there's more. Oh, there's more too. So we got Scrabble, Solitaire, Sorry, and then a Spider on here. Like the and, um, what's that? Like the yeah, the Sudoku Ultimate, Super Word, Swish, Tablecloths, like Tic Tac Toe, Triplets. Or tri tri -peak, so, uh, Solitaire, Trivia Pursuit, whack a -mole. Oh, whack a -mole. that sounds fun. What's the word in Yahtzee? All right, but all of these have a download symbol next to it, so it doesn't look like they're already on here. We actually have to download a game what? onto here. What? So Battleship, all right, so we're going to select on the Battleship icon. It says information about the table here. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see. There's information about the game here, an explosive recreation. Here's some lights and things, and then we can click on the Get. Let's get it. Get and okay. it's downloading. Let's see how wait, fast wait, it downloads. Wait. If it's downloaded, not preloaded, that means there's stored memory. You can only have so much stored memory on this guy. Yes, I forget how much memory is on here. What? So. But yeah, I mean, it's a fancy tablet. All tablets have some sort of memory on it too, right? 
All right, so it downloaded. Uh, I'm on 5G connection. That was like a 20 second download. So pretty quick. Now it's installing. Just like a regular app, like you would. It's just a fancy tablet. Look at that. All right. Oh, we can do Hungry Hungry Hippos later, Pen Pen. All right, let's do a quick game of Battleship because Battleship takes forever. Wow, whack a mole is to stuff. break the table. No whack a mole. I uh, mean, whack -a -mole. By, uh, 10 or 2 or more. So we got Battleship. We got Play OK. Have the gear icon for more stuff. Okay, let's, All right. Let's How are we going to do battleship though and like hide pieces from each other? Okay. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's let's see how battleship works because house rules none select and drag a flat fleet. So uh you go on that side. You go on that side. Okay? Me? Yeah. Is there explosive kittens? Not All right, which, which one do you want to be? I'm going to be the icon here and then you be that side. Which one are you going to be? All right, start game. All right, so we're human, we're human. So if you want to play against a computer, there's a little icon right here. Can you see it? So you can press the little icon and it'll change it from computer to player. So if you want to play against a computer, you oh, can wait, do that Oh wait, Hollywood too. Polo asked, right. did it have Hero Quest? Uh, I did not, so it does not have Hero Quest. All right, so let's do a quick game. So start game, Battleship. Really interesting. I'm curious to see how we're going to be able to hide our pieces. Do I need to get my little hiding things? No way, deploy feet. Do I have to tell my other person to like go away? That's what I'm seeing for some people. It says like, at least for battleship. Oh my god, them. you have to like close your eyes while I do this. There's no way to like do this while we hide. But Michael so. Cena's right, you have to turn your back. <laughs> turn, turn your back. All right, look at the camera over there. He's, he's all right, son is hiding over there. I'm just gonna drag my pieces um, to, all right, you guys are gonna see my battleship strategy now. Oh, and then you can press this button to rotate if you want it to like make it go like this. All right, so let's do this. All right, and then we'll drag this one. I don't know, are there like really good battleship strategies out there, guys? I'm gonna just do this right now. Okay, ready. All right, your turn. Okay. I'm turn around, look this way. I'm gonna get my drink. All right, go. Let us know if you have any battleship strategies too. I'm curious. Would your strategy change if you knew your, your opponent was playing digitally? Can you play this online is what Ke Keon said. Okay. You done? Yes. Yes, I think you can play. You can play online. If somebody else also has the Infinity Game Table and you have a friends list, you guys can connect. You guys can play with your friend online. So we just basically so bought $1,000 worth of friends. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, if you guys have an Affinity Game Table, add me to your friends list, look for Kongs or Us, and we'll play it up. Wait, what All was right. your fleet? fleet. So, okay, so it's my turn. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look away now. All right, so it says my turn. What's your fleet? All right, so. What's your fleet? Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, oh, so, all right, so it's your turn now, okay. So, all right, now you just press, you just pretty much press where you think it is, and then it tells you if you miss or not. So he's saying yes. miss. But if I wanted to look where my fleet was, then you like turn her away, look away. So then I press this button. And then is that, do I drag my feet? Oh, what's going on? Oh, I missed. What? You just put a point or a thing. You don't, so you don't even know where your boat is? Yeah, you don't. So you're both looking at the screen. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. Did you see it? So he got a hit. So we know the sweet somewhere but there's out there. No, but there's no yeah. to water. There's yeah. No All right, hold on. I got I to gotta see where my fleet is. Oh, okay. So this little, 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 little box pops up and it tells you where my fleet is and then where he hit. So you can kind of see it. So you can kind of like hold it like this and have it come up and then come back down. So that's interesting. Okay. Oh, All right, is this, is this another thing too? Okay. We got another ask. Oh how, yeah, we can use this too. All right, here you go, Kenny. How does the speaker sound? Uh, the speakers are a little bit faint. There is a little bit of background music, but let me see if I can turn the volume up. Okay. Am I turning it up or down? That was down. Turn it down. Does it have haptic feedback? That's all the way up. Uh, there is no haptic feedback when you're pressing the tactile buttons though. So, all right, let's see. I'm gonna go there. Miss. Alright. Ah, you missed. Okay, so now we're pretty much just like pressing buttons and I right, let's see if I can do my diagonal strategy. Hit! Alright. Alright. Let's go. Yes! Hit! Nice! <laughs> yeah, 
It actually, like, it's not too bad, like, playing this way. The only thing about Battleship, though, it's kind of weird that it doesn't give you the, the, uh, the letter and then the number, like, A5. Like, it should have, like, the grid numbers there. You're pretty much just blindly pressing it onto the grid. But I sunk your destroyer! Boom! Alright. Alright, so he got a hit too, so you're pretty much just going back and forth. Gameplay is actually pretty responsive. It, I, there was that little snafu when like, I, I pressed it and it didn't work as quickly as I thought it would. But he just destroyed my destroyer too. Alright. Oh my sweetness. Let's see how long we can keep going. So he does ask that I'm like, Like dubstep? Like boom boom boom? I got it, I got it. No, it dubbins. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, Pen Pen, why are you being so sad? You're so loud. Okay. Alright, we're gonna keep going until one of us sinks one more ship, and then we're gonna try another game. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so my strategy for Battleship, I'm just gonna talk about it. You gotta go in the diagonals. You gotta kinda like, like systematically go at it, right? Or are you just randomly pasting stuff all over the place? I don't know if I would want haptic feedback when the Battleship hits, because if your beer was on top of it, Oh, let's see. Let me make it my beer. I gotta see if it's uh, it's waterproof. Oh, so I mean, they gave me a, a cup, but let's. All right, I'm gonna stick my beer on top of the game. Boom. Let's see if it leaves anything. Well, I guess technically I could be using the official Infinity Game Table coaster. That's what you're supposed to be doing. But there you go. All right, you accidentally pressed the controls. All right, uh, my turn. Oh, your turn. So he's using the card to kind of block his fleet, so you can kind of see where your fleet is. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Hey, Pete Ups, 1002 or best offer? Are you still trying to sell my Infinity yeah. Game Table? This is so much fun. Look, we're playing Battleship, and we look, we don't have one of the big features was that you don't have to find pieces. We just set it up, and now I'm totally kicking my son's butt in Battleship, just like I should. Once so, I once I kill this ship, it will be asked, done. Is there a replay or rewind? Uh, like if you make a mistake, I don't see anything that lets you take back a mistake that you did in the game. So I don't know if that would be a fair feature if they had a rewind thing. Oh, I missed. But it's pretty quick. Like I'm pressing the button and it's switching. So he's he's doing a miss, I'm doing a hit. So it's my turn, I got a hit. All right, and I got one more. So he's just randomly pressing on the screen right now. So if you guys can see it. And here's the final, final place right here. Boom. No, so then it shows the carrier. It shows, boom, I sunk the carrier. So it gives you nice graphics. It's pretty fun, I'm gonna have to say. It's not not as uh, cumbersome as I thought. You know, oh, wait, setting wait, up wait, the screen is a little bit funky. The rewind is called shipping it back. <laughs> Richie Adela, look at you, my man, bringing some good ideas. All right, let's see how to exit the game. So then the sides will show you. So from here, you just put the, the, the menu, click the home button. Here's some other options that are in here too. So look, here's... Uh, Rules can be changed before the game starts. There's something called salvo mode, where each player shoots multiple shots per turn, equal to the number of ships still remaining. So that's cool. That gives you extra options. Um, can you turn the light on? All right. All right. So yeah, hopefully you guys. I know you guys can't see me, but hopefully you guys can see the screen better. So here's salvo mode, right? And then you have the home, how to play, game controls. I wonder if you could actually plug in something else. So preparing for battle, calling a shot. Um, that's pretty much it. And then on your turn, you just pretty much press a button and you fire the location. So I was, people were asking me right before the stream. I'm sorry, I needed to put a fresh beer on there. <laughs> people were asking me before the stream, can I add a yoke to this? Like, I don't think there's any way to add like an external controller to this. It's pretty much just all touch screen. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do my signature thing. Oh, but it does have a vibration though. So it asks, so actually, you know, when you, when you said haptic feedback, I take that back. If you press the vibration, you actually do feel the vibration. Feel it. Put your hand there. Feel, you want to feel, feel the vibration? It, feel, it. feel it. Put put your hand on the table, Mrs. Kong Duress. Feel the vibration. Feel the power. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Get on up. It's Bob Smith time. But she's pressing the vibration button. So then you have your SFX and music audio stuff. <laughs> I had to cool running, sir. <laughs> All right, so let's let's exit, go to home. All right, so then, oh, so then it saves your game, and then you can connect. Hold on, let me see. If I press the connect button, this is where I can actually look up your other friends. 
I can invite friends, and then that's how you would play against other people too. So, um, cool. Online? What's that? Online? Yeah, so if we had other people that had it, we can look for their handle, add them in here, and then we can do it. So yes, it does have back the food ball. We still need to do the TV dinner test. Yes, we should heat up some food, get some pasta. We got some couple of drinks, some booze, some juice. We, I ate dinner already. The best part is no more game pieces. Yeah, I'm already ready to play my next game. Let's right, so I'm going to close. We're going to go back. Oh, wow. Renee, right, Games Juniors, are you really going to offer me a million dollars? Dashboard. I, I got a million. Got a million bucks. Woo, one million dollars. He was going like this, though. One million dollars. Okay, Can I so pick the next game? All right, Can what's the next, the next game? game? This one. Chess? No, that's going to take too long. We got to oh. do something that's really simple. We got Simon. Ooh, that's that's a good one. Oh, Pen Pen, let's let's play a game that you want to play. Yeah. Right, we're gonna do hungry hungry hippos. I saw it on here earlier. Yeah, but it's all it's all. What was it? I thought I saw hungry hungry hippos on here. So Michael Suna said, "This is Kongs R Us. Do they offer a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee? If you don't like it, they will offer a refund." What is hungry hungry hippos not on here? Yeah, I, I, swear the I saw it the other day, or like a second ago. I saw a thing that said hungry hungry hippos. Oh, Operation. Wait, look, look, look. Here, coming in June. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. Perfect update. Goodbye, here. Yeah, so these are other Wait, games that are like. Coming in June? Yeah. What so month is this? It's June. So, Simon, coming so, in June. So, th this is like the advertisement screen. That's do you want to check your stuff. updates? And Game see? of Life, check coming it. in June. Check the updates. Those coming in July. Days. Coming in uh, July. All right, let's see if there's actual firmware updates that I can put in here. You know, laugh really hard if you want All right, streaming. so let's go to settings, change, password, factor, reset, no. I don't see anything that actually prompts you to do a live update for anything. So that's the friends list. Here's the Wi-Fi connect. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything that actually, like, automatically tells you about doing a firmware update. So it might just come automatically, and it might just show up in the store. Um, so this is the store right here. Oh, yeah. Coming in June, so we can't play that one though. What about? You want to do Candyland? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to. You want to do Candyland? All right. This is a, a fan family favorite. The favorite Candyland. Welcome to Candyland. We're gonna hit Get Ages Three Plus. It's downloading some Candyland, so we can do that. Cheers, Mrs. Kong's for us. Isn't this so much fun? This family is fun night. This Cheers. Is so much. Where is Risk and Clue? That's a good question. Yeah. And I think the one of the marquee games they said was going to be on here was Ticket to Ride, and I don't see it anywhere on here yet. So, uh, no hipper for you. I know some of the games that I wanted to play are not here yet. But the, I mean, total games. Uh, I didn't count how many total games there were, but I think I think they saw a four by four square. So um, there's probably like twenty games, not more. Twenty four games. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got Candyland. Game on. Okay. Why is the screen sideways like this? Where would you do it like this? All right. It's like. Mm. Uh, do we rotate the screen? I thought I saw it in the, the other setting. Yeah. Okay. Who do you want to play as? All right, pick your character. All right, you can't even see it. Uh, yeah, so. Closer. Not said, uh, for the physical games, you can rage flip the board when lose. Yeah, that's true. We can't table flip this one. All right, so we got those two, and we got strawberry. We're gonna start the game. There. So can I go for? So this is like it's like a vertical mode right now. It wasn't it wasn't flipped? I don't remember flipping it a second ago. All right, so it's like vertical tablet mode. This is weird. Okay, I wonder why it's not sideways. All right. I wonder if it's always like this. Oh, maybe this is just how it is for this game. Like, this Who's game is just drop? vertical. Who's gonna drop? We're gonna okay. have to try this later, but Brad Who's did ask. Alright, you go first. Go ahead. We have to try this later, but Me? Brad just did Me? ask. It's a giant tablet. What could go wrong? Can you surf the net like That's an right. iPad? Me? Can you surf the net like it on an iPad? Uh, I didn't see any options for any web browsing, so... She wants me to do it. Yeah, go ahead. You can do it. So, I mean, technically, yeah, maybe iPads will come out that are this big later on because there's so many more mobile games like this that you could probably get from the App Store and play them. You can, I, so, I mean, that's the other big thing, but you haven't seen a 32-inch tablet like this. Um, that was my other concern. Like, just talking about other concerns I had about this, 
Uh, digital anything, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a digital. Hold on, what's up, what's up? Go ahead. Go, go, go. So digital anything, whether it's an iPad or a computer or a phone, you already know the technology is gonna be outdated in about a year, and there's already gonna be the next generation of it coming out. So, you know, I think about a, a, a Kindle Fire tablet that I got when it first came out, like five, 10 years or since I first got it, is it even playable? I can't even play it with that tablet anymore. So I'm hoping that whatever guts they use in this, will be able to keep up and refresh with the times. Because think about this board game that you have, can you, can you hold on for a second? Yeah? I would like to say right. that Gene LaValle said iPads would be three times the price at this size, but at this size, do you want it? Right. I would rather pay three times the price and not have this size. That's true. But then, yeah, so the whole point is that in five years, in 10 years, will I still be playing this? It is a board game that you buy with physical pieces. I still have board games that I bought in college that are still fantastic that I can still play with. And then, here, you can just... And then, Ken, Ken Brett asked, if I get a matching shirt, can I be in the Kongs family? <laughs> Fat Rabbit out. Farm? Fat Rabbit Farm. You gotta get in the picture. We can't see you. You can't put my gear in the corner. That's okay. <laughs> They're gonna start yeah. counting how many I've had so far. Mega iPad, you'd buy. Fruit Ninja would be great. So yeah, there's so many other fun touch games. Like, oh, think about like the Fruit Ninja that's in the arcade where you like are in there, like pressing it. If you can get more of those games too, that would be super fun. But I don't know how responsive the touch screen is because right now so far the touch screen has been just like press it you know for an ipad it's really sensitive in terms of the touch Wait. but i don't know how how quick the drag is on this yet well that's what michael screen. asked was like yeah. the processor do they does it stink uh the other reason you can't do your pledge is the guts the processor stink uh that's a great question i probably need to look more at the the guts and see what else is, is in here but i don't know so and the other thing that's um that I've seen that that if you don't want to get this, some people have taken a regular TV and there are devices where you can put on a camera, infrared sensors on both ends of the screen and essentially turn it into a touchpad and then you can load up a PC with an Android box uh, and then you can just play uh, you know, Android-based touchscreen games using that sensor. I think Andrew Rochelle was doing that with something else as well. And so I think there's other solutions for large touch screens that you can probably do where you may not need this. The simplicity factor of having the Arcade 1UP version, just like everything else the Arcade 1UP does, is the pre-made form factor where you don't have to think about anything. You can automatically play these simple games with your family around the table. It's gonna be a nice novelty to pull this out on, on the game night and see what the team wants to play. But here's my favorite part about it. My son will ask me to play games with him all the time but now he can play against the computer and get good. So yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for that, that they can actually play either with the computer or if I get you know this for family members or other folks, they can play along with each other. So those connectivity features are what sell this for me right now. But ultimately, is it gonna be worth it in five years from now? I don't know, I could spend thousand dollars on a ton of board games that I would love to have. So that's the other thing that, you know, think about how many physical board games you could have bought for eight hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. So what's interesting is Gila Valley said there's ten point touch capability, mm -hmm. and Richard Lindolo oh, said uh, can adjust the sensitivity. So babe, I see you tapping a bunch of times. Are you tapping because it's not registering, or are you tapping because you can? Just tapping. Up. So yeah, you just yeah, tap it once. It's still pretty, pretty sensitive. sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because um, sweetness, you've been just tapping it once, right? <laughs> yeah. Fighter Zeebo, what's up, man? What's up, Blast? Uh, Dude, uh, having you as part of the Marvel community is awesome. If you if you guys are fans of Marvel vs. Capcom, or if you have an X-Men vs. Street Fighter cab, or a Marvel vs. Capcom cab, Fighters Evo is hosting a tournament, I believe, on, put it in the chat, Fighters Evo, June, it's either this weekend or the next, I think it's June 19th, yeah. um, where we're doing a Marvel vs. Street Fighter tournament, so check it out. So Fire's Evo was commenting on what Kev said, which is, wouldn't it be great to be adopted by the Kongs to play all these games? Exactly. Because we heard things like, our family is awfully cute. This is not cute right now. <laughs> she's cute. Have you guys been keeping track of how many beverages she's had? She's been having fun. All right. So they, so Candyland is pretty simple. I mean, you're just pressing a thing and, and the pieces move for you. And so uh, the funny thing about playing Candyland with my daughter or anytime I play with other kids is that the, the, the pieces where you can like jump 
to the, uh, the ice cream or the swirl or something. I used to have this kid that I would play with when I was doing um, elementary school tutoring and she would hide the, the fairy, princess fairy piece on the top and then she would come say, Mr. B, do you want to play Candyland with me? And then she'd be like, I go first. And then she flips it over and she's like, oh, look, I'm at the fairy. And I'm like, great, you're at the fairy already. So the good thing about Affinity Table, your kids can't cheat. Plus one for the Affinity Game Table versus a physical board game. For all those cheaters that are looking for other physical ways to get ahead in games, you can't cheat in a virtual board game. You gotta play fair and square. No! 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 <laughs> oh, my, my son is going backwards. No! He's so sad. He went, he went no! all the way back to the peppermint square. No! No! <laughs> Look at this. See? This is this is fun. Yes. No cheating. No that, right? You ever have that family no! member that like is banker in Monopoly? And then they're like, oh, look, is there an extra $500 in Park Place? Oh, I just rolled a seven into Park Place. What is it? Free parking, and I got my extra money. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So instead of the flipping the cable, they'll pull the, the plug. Oh, yeah, they could pull the plug. Yeah, that's true. The plug is right here next to my daughter, and I'm hoping like somebody doesn't walk by and just accidentally pull it apart. That's true. Somebody could really rage quit and just pull the plug. That's absolutely true. It's actually pretty heavy to do a table flip. I mean, just like a real table. I don't know if you would actually table flip this. But yeah, all right, let's try out another game. Let's try out another game. So, um, Maybe not that's okay, baby. We're gonna play later on, okay? All right, dashboard. So you go home to go back to the home screen and you go back to dashboard to go back to the main play field for everything, okay? So let's do another game. So we got Scrabble, Solitaire, Operation, Fling Hockey, um, Sorry, Swish. So it looks like there's 16, Plus 12, there's 28 games on here that are already on it, plus all the extra games that are coming out. So that's that's good. I, I don't remember, Gene or somebody else can tell me if the other games, do we have to buy these games, like purchase them, or are they just going to be eventually added for free? Because it says redeem in the top corner too for stuff. So I actually don't know if it's going to cost us for for more of the games to add, or that what's included is what's included, and everything else we're gonna have to purchase. Kind of like the IRK model, so. William Wright asked the, I know the wheels in your head are already spinning about how to mod this. What are you thinking? What am I thinking mod-wise? Uh, that's a good question. So, you know, with this technology, I probably will do a, a deep dive and open it up to see what the guts are, just to see what's there. I don't know if there's a speaker mod that you might be able to update the speakers, because they sounded ruffled a little bit on the bottom. That might be something to think about. Um, I don't know. I, I saw some USB plugs in here though, so I'm gonna figure out what those USBs do. Try to figure out if you can plug in peripherals, see anything else can do. But with the UI that exists right now, it's super oversimplified just to play these games. I don't see a web browser option. I don't see anything else. So you, uh, you know, software hacking is not my forte. I'm more of a hard modder where I can take something physical and mod it up. And so with something like this, I don't know what other physical mods I can do to it. And there's nothing that I can like proprietary plug in another PC or, a pie or something else and play with it. So it's not gonna be something right now that I think I'll be able to do a ton of modding with, but I will open it up at some point just to check out the guts and see what we can do, see what else we can plug into it. Cause you never know, you might be able to plug in stuff, but I don't know how fun it would be honestly. So I, I had plans honestly to try to keep it as stock as possible and just uh, play it as is and play with my family and just keep it as simple as I can. Yeah. So these are so all the things. So that probably answers Michael's question, which was, do you have to add your own music or do we just add it? Uh, Rico Dello asked, are these games free? And they look to be free so far. All the ones that are included here are free, but there's a redeem uh, token on the top right here that I think for new games, you might maybe there's going to be something that we have to buy or purchase uh, and we do it. The so. fist of love said, have we tried the Konami code? <laughs> I know, let's do it. Up, up, down, down, left, Wait, right, left, right. Enter redemption code. So yeah, there's a redemption code for certain games too. But if these ones, I don't know if these were all included with, with every single game pack, but um, yeah, maybe there'll be a way. Oh, interesting, right. Brad. Mrs. Kong's or us, will this stay in the living room as a table? Yes. Garage in a box or 1002 or best I, offer. We're gonna whack them all. All right, come 10 on. 1002 or best Go. offer. Versus wait, mode. Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me. Plus 10. 
I think you gotta be on the other side. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, and don't do the bomb, okay? All right. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go sideways. Okay. So this is one of those things we're gonna change it. Oh, whoa! I have the beer on here. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. We're going sideways now so that he can do this. Rock and roll. Oh, you can feel the vibration on this. This is really fun. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Come here. Step in. Press, press it. Press it. Yeah. Whack the mole. Whack the mole. Whack the mole. So sweetness actually hates violence. I don't like it. I thought you liked violence. Boom, 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 boom. It's so shaky. Mega mallet. Mega mallet. Oh no! I hit the bomb. Whoa. It's too laggy. It's too shaky. I can't see a thing. Boom, boom, boom. All right, this- It's too shaky, it's too shaky, I can't see a feed. This might be one of the simplest, funnest- I think this might be the edge of my side. This might be the edge of my side, I can't see a feed. Can I? Oh shoot, dang it, I just did the thing again. Don't worry, I did it. Oh no, he beat me! Wow. <laughs> oh my god! My son legitimately beat me in a game. <gasps> <laughs> no! First time in nine years he legitimately beat me in a game. Get out of the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe he beat me legitimately in whack a mole. I think it was because I was setting up stuff. Got an extra 200 points. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Good job, little one. Be proud, because it probably won't happen again. Was it again? Rematch? Uh, rematch. Look in the settings and see if rematch. The rematch. Stuff. No, we want the vibration settings. All right, rematch. I need to I need to own my son. Oh my goodness, what was that? Is that another one? Mrs. Mrs. Kongzeras is uh, having fun. Mega Mallet, two times. Their strategy. There's some strategy to this. Don't press the bombs. Don't press the bombs. Don't press the bombs. Here we go. So I'm supposed to touch him a bomb. Ah uh, no. It's just popping up there. I know. I want to hit every more I see. Alright, hit him up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. 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 It would be so cool if there was like a browser option or something in here where you could do some other touch games. So, uh, whoa, I pressed the thing, bomb. So I think that's what like Scott Backred and the whole Infinity team was saying, that now that this is a connected gaming device, that essentially you can, um, yes, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Here, do this. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, take that, son. Take that, son. But yeah, that was weird. I had to like turn it and get used to it. So, <laughs> kids today will assume all screens are touch screens. So that's why B is so serious after losing. So he's playing for blood. <laughs> King yeah. status is redeemed. That's right, G. You gotta show him who's boss. You gotta let him know that's that sorry. Who's, right. who's sorry now? Who's sorry? Who's right. gonna be sorry? Let us know. We've already been going for an hour and seven minutes. Thank you guys all so much for joining the stream. You know, final thoughts about this. Uh, you know, we're, we're gonna try to get through some more gameplay on here. But <laughs> I want to just ask some of the family members a little bit about their experience so far with the thing. So Kenny, come over here. Come over here. All right. Where is where did Mrs. Congress go? She went to get a cat, probably. Oh yeah. All right. All right. So we'll wait for Mrs. Congress to get back here. But what do you think so far of the Infinity Game Table? Is this something that you would like to play? I thought at first that Daddy's taking over. But now I'm starting to think that this is gonna get a whole lot funnier. <laughs> yeah, every time he sees an arcade, now he walks up to me and says, Dad, another one? You are not gonna have any more space. And then I start telling him it's like a board game that has all this stuff, and now he's like, oh, it's kind of cool, right? So, I mean, it's just fun. I think we can do board game nights with our kids and families, but that's fun. All right, all right, little one, what do you think? Are you having fun? Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to go check mom. You're going to go check on mom? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, you're going to go check on mom? Yeah. Go check on mom. So we got Sari here. I want to show you guys just how much of a fan we are of board games. Can you come over here and follow me over to this little drawer over here? All right, so we're going to take a little trip to our board game cabinet, which is right here. So this is our official board game cabinet for all of our physical games. I'm sure everybody has a closet 
or something that looks like this that's full of all these different board games here. So we got Foggle, Cranium, Wits and Wagers, Apples to Apples, Taboo, Scategories, Gestures. Uh, got some of my favorites over here. King of Tokyo, this is a really fun game right here. Got Codenames, Settlers of Catan, Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, this is also another quick fun game right here, Five Minute Dungeons. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. And then we have another full on cabinet full of all of our other classics here. I see so we got our Mousetrap. So this is the board game collection that normally we would be playing if we didn't have the Infinity game table. So this is what my kids are usually pulling out. Catan, these are all the different games that we're playing with everybody. Uh, let me know if anybody's played this game. This is my absolute favorite game right here. This is what it's about right here. Puerto Rico, number one board game of all time. Check it out. That would be really awesome if they got this. This is a really fun board game right here. So this is for all the strategy people right here. Was used to be ranked Number one board game on board game strategy or, or boardgamegeek.com. Don't know if it is anymore. Oh, this is the other thing too. I would love to do this. You guys remember this? Yes. Who remembers Legends of the Hidden Temple with Olmec and Nick? They're actually doing an adult version. I'm gonna come back over here so you guys can see it. Dude, they're they're doing an adult version of. Um, Legends of the Hidden Temple that I was thinking about applying to do. That would be so much fun, but uh, this is like a little trivia game that I, I really like playing. So just to show you guys, I am a board game freak and I really love playing things a lot. Uh, Scategories is really awesome as well. I'm trying to check chat to see what else. Mousetrap copy it has all the pieces. Played it more than once. Where's the, where's the, let's see what other comments there are here. Barracudas, blue barracudas. Yeah, they had a TV show of that. That's right. Blue Barracudas, Raymond. That's right. Purple Parrots for life. You guys remember? That's some good stuff, man. So yeah, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Raymond, you should apply for the adult version of Legends of the Hidden Temple. See if you can get on that game show. Wait, that would be awesome. You were asked if it's a, a cat hair magnet, so I brought something to test in IRL. All right, so we have cats. Oh my goodness. All right, if you wanted to see a cat on Infinity Game Table, this is now just getting pretty ridiculous now but we have a new cats for folks that didn't check out our chillin chat we are adopting some foster kitties and this is one of our cats cleo that we've adopted she's 11 weeks old and uh hopefully we'll find a nice home for her if not i think this one might be keeping her so we'll see yeah all right let's check out any last comments in the chat philly check says that scrabble was your family favorite growing up you have to learn all the Q words. Yeah, it's Q without U words. Very good. Money, money words. You build a table with a removable top where it would be like a regular table, maybe hide the battery power supply. That's true. I mean, the, the battery supply actually has like a little high, hidden spot though. So it already has that little place you can stick it in. So I have to figure out where the battery pack is. I had no idea that was gonna come separately. That's a little disappointing that it didn't come all together, honestly. All right, my cats walk across and sit on it, yeah. Yay, kitties. May the scratches begin. The hair magnets, lotteria. All right, I'm going to let the kids and the family go. They've all had fun playing with everything. Uh, thank you guys all so much for being here, joining in today. If you haven't already, if this is your first time checking out the channel, please definitely check it out. Uh, subscribe for future content. I probably will do a full-on in-depth review of this with more details, but this was just the first thoughts with you guys hanging out tonight on a Tuesday night. Appreciate everybody here. Uh, the online lobbies, Spider is Evil, last question. Uh, there's no online lobbies. You have to have a friends list. So I didn't see something where it was like you can just go into a public space and just play other random people. It looks like you might have to already be connected on a friends list. So there are like the Arcade 1UP Infinity groups that maybe people can start posting their names and joining a friends list to see if anybody's online. Um, but hopefully, I'll have to dig more into it. Again, I, I, I've only spent as much time as I have with you guys with it. But hopefully they'll be updating some more things so that people can play with more people. So people have to add each other and then to populate the friends list. Thanks, Gene. I really appreciate you being here, being an expert, following along and chatting. I appreciate you. Whack those moles. I uh, appreciate the demonstration. Thanks, Sean. Have a great night, everybody. Appreciate everybody being here. And we'll see you next time. Say bye. 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 Oh, I have, sorry, one last thing, one last question. Did anybody remember how many 
beverages Mrs. Kong's Arrest had. If you guys can remember and put in how many beverages Mrs. Kong's Arrest drank during this entire stream and oh, put wait, it into chat. I gotta finish one. Let me know and I will I will send you a prize. I will contact you and get in touch with you and send you a special prize. So Richie Odell says four. Uh, it yeah, open? what uh, open? So we have four and five and three. How, how many was it? What, which number was that? Chug. <laughs> what number was that? She's still going. <laughs> what the kitty had? Eight, six, five, three, four, six point five. I only saw three, five, ninety nine. She's still going. You're chugging. Just give him the answer. Okay, well, I'm almost done with this one. This one's about like um, a fifth of the way done. So what was the number? Oh, you're bringing them all here. So you had a total of three. Wait, no, 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 there's more. And sorry, you guys probably knew it. Four, five. She had five I drinks. I and the first person to say five, because this sixth one was mine and the small one was there, was Brad O'Connell, was the first person to say five. Awesome job, Brad O'Connell. I get in touch with you. You win a special prize with five drinks. Thank you, Mrs. Congress, for hanging out. Did you have any final thoughts about this table that you wanted to share with everybody? It's not worth a thousand dollars. I'm sorry. It's worth. Uh, it's it's gonna be fun. It's worth we'll see. Hundred. Okay? <laughs> I'd rather put a thousand dollars to pet insurance for these babies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you guys will make your own decision on what's worth it or not for you guys. But thank you guys all for joining this lovely two hundred dollars founders card. Could be yours if you're part of the founders club. But that's it for or now. Or ten oh two. <laughs> 10 out 2 is <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. bye.